There you are. I haven't seen you since the coronation feast. How many ships do you suppose it takes to move an army? Ships? Why in the world would you... Never mind. Mira, I'll be honest. I took an enormous risk, defying Marjorie to get you into that feast. And you thanked me by making a scene with Lord Andros in front of everybody. Marjorie saw, of course, and she knew exactly how you got there. I'm sorry about that. I, I really did try to be discreet. But you couldn't, could you? Because you're in over your head. I know it. And Marjorie knows it. Which is why it's not safe for me to be around you anymore. What? Mira, you're not the girl I knew at Highgarden. She'd never be so reckless. And now that Garibald and I are discussing marriage, I just can't risk being associated with you. Not anymore. You know how much I need this marriage. I won't do anything to jeopardize it. Sarah, you can't mean this. I have too few friends in King's Landing as it is. I'm sorry. I really am. But I just can't anymore. Was it worth it, at least? Sacrificing so much for your family. They're still in very grave danger, I'm afraid. Well, I know you'll do everything in your power to protect them. Thank you. Be very I'd better go before she sees me. She already You're a forester. Can I help you? You need to come with me. Now. Why would I? Don't make this difficult. I thought you'd be happier. I'm glad he's dead. Felt good plunging the knife in at least. But it doesn't feel like I expected. I thought I'd feel lighter. Or something. No matter what happens, I'll have your back. Always. And I yours, little brother. But we should never have come here. This city. It only holds pain for me, Asher. I was hoping to bury it all with Dezor's corpse. I can't imagine what it must have been like. Please, I don't want to talk about it again. Asher, you're back. <laughs> Uncle. Let's collect our second sons and get out of here. If you did as you were told, Daenerys should deliver. Daenerys, huh? First names with the Queen now, are we? Your Grace, my nephew has returned from his mission. It seems you played your part in the taking of Marine, Asher Forrester. Did you run into any trouble? Reports from the battle are muddled. Perhaps you can clear them up. Well, my time is short. Nothing out of the ordinary, Your Grace. We fulfilled your orders. All of them? I heard rumors of an incident in the city. Do you know anything about it? Your Grace, we encountered the slave master, Dizorzo Raza, on the way to the signal tower. I regret that he lost his life. Oh, don't fucking... You admit it, then? The punishment for defying a queen is death. And yet, do you come to me for a reward? Why should I let this pass? Don't you dare. What do you have to say for yourself? 
doubt. The man was a fucking master. He deserved to that die. That was not for you to decide. Not only did you disobey my orders, you are insolent and deceitful. You disappoint me, Forrester. I will not be giving you my second sons. What? But Your Grace, the mission was a success. What did I tell you? She was never going to help us. Your Grace, we risked our lives for you. And you risked them again with your tongue. A new day is born in Marine. The slaves have thrown off their collars. There must be a few cutthroats who would fight for the likes of you. Now get out. I'm terribly sorry, Your Grace. You have nothing to apologize for, Malcolm. I have other plans for you. Plans for me, Your Grace? We never agreed to this. Asher, please. I would like you to stay and serve me. I have a task for you. Your Grace, I... I am humbled. But I owe my allegiance to my family. And they will be grateful for the Targaryen alliance you've helped forge. I am honored you would ask me. Might I discuss it with my nephew first? Do so. But let me know your answer soon. You'd seriously consider staying in Essos? I'm not sure. This is all rather sudden. But if she does come to Westeros, we'd want Daenerys Targaryen on our side. And now you've angered her, she may need some convincing. It's worth thinking about, you have to admit. But whatever comes of this, we still need men who will fight for us now. The Queen thought we might find them here, among the newly freed. <sighs> the little Queen is right. Marine holds plenty of killers, and I know the worst. So what are we waiting for? Let's go get them. I don't know, Asha. They're not like us. To them, killing is a sport. It's fun. Let them have fun with the White Hills, then. As long as they kill them, I don't care. Don't say I didn't warn you. I must talk further with the Queen. Don't get yourselves killed. So, where exactly are we going? Well, these fighters used to be slaves. If I had to guess, I'd say they'll be trying to live like masters. You're freezing. Yeah, don't worry about it. Someone has to keep watch. <sighs> oh. It's getting worse, isn't it? But we're only about a few days out from the Antler River. We cross a bridge the first men built. And from there, we can try to find the North Grove. Ah, right, Sylvie. We're not going north. 
We're going south to join Mance and the rest of the Free Folk. But look. That was always the plan, Cotter. I have to go to the North Grove. My family's depending on it. <laughs> Your family needs you to wander around in the snow until you get eaten by a dire wolf. Please, Sylvie. He knows what he's doing. Does he now? Tell me then. How did my brother get that gash in his arm? You dressed his wound up well enough. But why'd he get hurt in the first place? What does that have to do with the- Hush, Cotter! I'm asking Fishface here. Sylvie! Don't Sylvie me. I want to hear it from him. Some wildlings. Uh, free folk. Uh, mistook Cotter for a crow. I can't imagine why. We tried to reason with them and, well, well, things got out of hand. Out of hand? From the look of him, he was nearly killed? Point is, you don't belong out here. Sylvie, I've known Gadid a while now. He may not be one of us, but I trust him. I've been waiting months for you, Cotter. And when you finally come home, it's with some crow who can barely build a fire. No, we don't need to die for him. Me neither. Fucking North Grove isn't even real. And if it is, it's probably full of wolves and more wildies. Thins, probably. <laughs> you didn't lose your nerve already, did you? Finn, will you co Just piss off! Some leader you turned out to be. You should listen to him. The further north you go, the more likely you'll never come back. It's just not worth it. Once Cotter's fit to travel, we head south. With or without you, Garrod. Sylvie. You need to rest. And we'll be wanting something to eat. I won't go far. Oh, don't be angry, Garrod. This isn't what it looks like. I can explain. Did you know she'd refuse to go north? I swear, I didn't. I thought she could help. Sylvie knows these woods better than I do. If anyone can find the North Grove, it's her. And besides, I couldn't just leave her. I won't do that. Not again. Then convince her to go with us. She's your sister. Well, maybe she's right. Maybe you don't belong up here. You don't mean that. So that's it. I can't head north without a guide. I go where she goes. I'm sorry, Garrett. What are you doing over here? There's a perfectly good fire. I'm not going anywhere near those fucking wildlings. Oh, come on. Just give them a chance. I did. And look where it got us. I'm sorry for getting you into this mess. Really. Not your fault. I wanted to come. Just didn't know this is how it'd turn out. Come on, Finn. You'll freeze your ass off if you stay here. Suppose you're right. May as well get warm before I die. Whoa! Fucking hell. Could you have been any louder? Sorry. Never met a crow before. Sorry I almost killed you. Might have done you a favor, though. Plenty of things want to kill a crow up north. Giants, fens, shadow cats and ice spiders. And the white walkers, of course. A spear sounds nice after all that, doesn't it? I'm not a crow anymore. 
I left that life behind me. Once a crow, always a crow. That's what they say, anyway. Don't frighten our dinner away. Shit. Here. I was never any good with a bow. Know how to use that? You're not going to shoot me in the leg, are you? I trained at Castle Black. So your shit then. I think you need more training. Joking. Maybe next time, Garrod. Well, since we don't have any food... Well, what's this? Your dinner. It won't fill you up, but it'll make you think you're not hungry for a while. At least I don't have to worry about you trying to shoot me. You ever lost anyone, Garrod? Someone you really cared about. Someone you thought you couldn't live without seeing ever again. Do you know what that's like? I lost my family. First my mother, then my sister and father. So you know how it feels. Cotter and I, we lost everything too. And we nearly lost each other. I didn't think he'd make it back this time. And I won't risk losing him again. Not even for the North Grove. You know something about it, don't you? Only what I've heard. But don't get your hopes up. It's not worth it. Please, Sylvie. I need to know. A few years back, one of the Ice River Clan set out to find it. They'd heard stories, that the cold couldn't touch it, that it's safe even in the dark of winter. So they'd set out, all full of hope, and none of them ever returned. Do you believe the stories? Oh, I forgot. You southerners don't believe in anything you can't see with your eyes. Garrett! Fuck! Look out! <laughs> 